Hey everybody, it's the doll boy, and today I'm giving a makeover to this Wild Hearts Crew doll. Since this doll line is not available in the Netherlands, I asked my friend Dolmanatrix from Instagram to get a Cory doll and ship her to me. To save on shipping, we did decide to ship the doll unboxed. Out of the box, this doll is pretty basic, with a jacket, some simple accessories, and a one-piece jumpsuit, and some simple shoes. She also has a Walkman that does have a small cassette in it. What I do like about this doll is that she has two hairstyles. The first hairstyle is the one she comes with in the box, which is this purple afro look. This style actually comes together because the hair is in two separate ponytails. On one side of the head, she has a full head of hair, and on the other side, she has sculpted braids. This entire side is also painted purple. The second hairstyle this doll can wear is the style you get when you take out the elastics. As you can see, when you take the hair down, it is pretty long and the curls are pretty defined as well. I did feel like her hair was quite sticky, so you might want to wash it to get that out. Washing the hair with soap and conditioner made it feel a lot cleaner, but the roots are still quite straight and it still sticks out because the hair is so used to being in those ponytails. Since I will be giving this doll a reroot anyways, I also wanted to see what happened to the hair if we boil wash it. So I brushed out the hair to make it all tangle free. If you want to keep the hair curly, I do not recommend this step. Then I dip the hair into boiling water to loosen up the curls. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of what this did, because it left the hair with this really stringy noodle texture and once the hair dried, it felt pretty damaged and dry. I did also try to recurl it, which made the hair look a little better, but you can still see how dry and fluffy it looks. However, I didn't really mind this, because I had customizing plans for her all along. Ever since this doll came out, I had this vision for her of a full look I wanted to create. The first step I had to take was for her side braids. For these braids, I want to erase that block of purple paint and make sure that just the braids are colored in. For a more realistic look, I wanted to make this all black. To remove the original paint, I take my nail polish remover and start removing the paint, being really careful for the paint on her face, because I do want to keep that original face paint. When the entire side is clean, I take some black paint and do a test run for the black braids. I already knew that this was gonna fade or chip once I do the reroute, but I was too excited to see how it would look. To paint the actual braids, I took a toothpick and paint the braids that are sculpted in the plastic. As you can see, the way the braids are sculpted, it did leave some big gaps in the hairline. To fill these up and to give the braids a more realistic look, I also wanted to add some baby hairs to the hairline. To create these, I followed the steps from my previous baby hair tutorial. Since I'm not the biggest fan of that blue star on her face, I really carefully removed that with nail polish remover as well. I was quite nervous to do this, since the star is so close to her eyes. That's also the reason I did decide to keep those blue dots in the inner corner of her eyes. To start the rerouting process, I heat the head to remove the head from the body more easily. And then I cut off all the hair. and remove the rest from the inside with my tweezers. By scraping the inside of the head, 
and taking it out from the inside. When all the original hair is removed from the head, I paint the rooted parts of the scalp black. Then I lay out a bunch of strands and start rerouting the part line like I normally do. If you want a more detailed explanation on how to reroute your doll's hair, I link that tutorial in the iCard. To make all the braids look neat, I'm creating parting space around each little braid. This makes sure you don't see any scalp or bald spots when you move around the braids or try to do some fun hairstyles. To achieve this goal, I'm creating horizontal lines of hair rooted really close to each other to create that parting space. I separate this entire row into two. The bottom half of this row will go into the braids I will make below this row of hair and the top half will go into the braids that will come above the row of hair. Then inside of this block, I also make vertical lines that are rooted really close to each other to section off each braid. For the vertical sections, I make sure I bricklay them to make sure they lay really nice. These vertical lines are separated into two as well, with one half going to the right braid and the other half going into the left braid. This gives you these really neat looking sections. After doing that for each section and filling up each block, I used up an entire pack of rerouting hair. While rerouting, I braided everything into place temporarily to keep all the sections neat. Because I was done filling the entire head, I'm going to glue the hair into place. I put the hair in a plastic bag to protect the hair from getting glue on it, since I have accidentally spilled some glue on hair before and you really want to avoid that from happening. Then I take my Fabri-Tec glue and glue the hair in place inside of the head. I spread that out evenly by moving a Q-tip around inside of the head. After letting it dry for 24 hours, I put the head back on the body and I'm so excited about how that looks. Then to avoid damaging the clothes while boil washing the hair, I undress her slightly. I dip the hair into boiling water to make it lay nice and flat and to make the ends more smooth. As you can see, those temporary braids I did while rerouting are not really neat and the ends are all unraveled and the look I want to achieve has really neat braids that are braided all the way to the ends. So I take down these original braids and rebraid them from root to end. When I'm all out of hair to braid, I take a small elastic and tie the ends together. When I was in the store, they were out of black elastics, so I used these transparent ones. Black ones do look a lot more neat, so I did replace them when they restocked. For some strands, I like to add in a bit of color in an ombre effect. So for that, I take some very small strands of reroot hair that I add in. To create that ombre look, I make sure I don't start at the top and I add in several small strands over the length of the braid. Adding the hair in several parts, make sure that there's a nice transition in how prominent the color looks. When all the braids are done, you can see that the hair goes thinner towards the ends. To create the look I was going for, I wanted to cut these ends off in straight lines. So I section off some braids and cut these ends off until everything is straight. Then I redo the side braids by painting each of them black with a small toothpick. 
And I also add the baby hairs once again because these faded while doing the reroute. When that's all done and dry, the full makeover for Cory Cruz is done. I really love how she turned out and I hope you like her too. If you do, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel. For more pictures, make sure to follow me on Instagram as well, at the doll boy. See you next time!